Plastic waste is everywhere. <gasps> On our streets, in our oceans, and now apparently in our fuel tanks. I'm sure there's some kind of like pronunciation thing going on here, but I'm just gonna say what this ignorant American has to say. Pet gas, a Mexican startup, is taking an, if you can't beat it, burn it approach, converting plastic waste into a usable fuel. Sounds futuristic, but is it a breakthrough or is it just a flashy stopgap? Pet gas uses pyrolysis, a process where plastics are heated without oxygen, breaking them down into fuels. This isn't new tech, scientists have known about it for decades, but implementing it at scale has been a challenge. The upsides? It keeps plastic out of our landfills and ocean. The downside? Burning the resulting fuel still releases CO2. Pet gas argues that their fuel has a lower sulfur content than conventional gasoline and diesel, and that this is essentially making it less harmful. Anyway, the world produces over 400 million tons of plastic each year, and without intervention, it's predicted that that number could skyrocket by 70% by 2040. With plastics clogging our oceans and microplastics showing up in our bloodstreams, it's kind of obvious a solution is needed. But is turning plastic into fuel the right one? Biologists like Alexa Mendoza call this a band-aid. It's just a temporary fix that doesn't address or stop the root cause of, uh, you know, plastic overproduction. Because we use plastic in everything. There's plastic in my chair, I'm so sorry. <gasps> and on my mic, and the stand. From that point of view, if we keep producing plastic at an unstable rate, converting a fraction of it into fuel won't really make a dent, will it? Sort of like scooping water out of a sinking boat with a teaspoon. Right now, pet gas is operating on a small scale, even donating its fuel to local fire departments and food delivery services. That's commendable, but for this to be truly effective, it would need to scale up massively and fast. Plus, regulations, costs, and environmental concerns could slow its growth. The real solution isn't about finding better ways to burn the plastic, it's about producing less of it in the first place. Pet gas is an innovative step towards a circular system where waste becomes resource. But it's just that, a step. If we want a cleaner future, we need more than just clever ways to burn our mistakes. But of course, what do you think? Is this the future of waste management, or are we just finding new ways to delay the inevitable?